Welcome back to learning solidity. Now, in today's tutorial, it's not really a tutorial. This is more focused around questions that I've noticed from a lot of the YouTube comments. Now, I know there's been a considerable amount of YouTube comments that I've not exclusively answered. Um, it's, it'd take me a while to go back through all of the sort of the past comments. What I'm trying to do now is just focus on the sort of newer comments, uh, just because it's easier, a little bit easier for me to manage. Now, one of many questions that I do get asked is certain things like, Okay, so what is we, or, or how is Ethereum defined? Now, essentially, we is the smallest denomination of, uh, of, of a value, should we say, within the Ethereum network. Now, we, we look at we in, in several contexts, in context really. We look at it as the, the transactional value of what we, we own within the Ethereum network and what we sort of use to execute our smart contracts or our transfers or, or any sort of action we do on the Ethereum network, which can obviously relate back to gas. Now gas, I'm not really gonna cover today. I'll cover that in my next tutorial, or also my next video. Today I'm just going to be looking at the denomination. So obviously this 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 video is going to be very short. So we, as as I've already described, is the smallest denomination within the network. It is a simply um, a, a unsigned integer within the network at the very lowest end of the spectrum. Now within the Solidity documentation, there is this whole um, denomination uh, section, as you can see in the screen in front of you, which basically covers the concept of we. Now you'll often hear for instance that gas or it, it is usually handled in gwe uh, should we say um which is basically what this denomination is here now i thought that that used, used to refer to gas we and it doesn't it actually refers to gigawe now it, it's very simple uh, it's a very simple context so if you think about in uh, data storage of just um disk consumption on a, on any sort of on any sort of data storage device you have um, a bit and then a bit goes to a byte and then bytes kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes yottabytes and so forth the same applies to the ethereum network in the context of we so for instance in we uh, we have the single denomination or value of one now this isn't similar to gigabytes about, uh, and so forth because those are essentially powers of two which obviously work up in like um, 1024 kilobytes would make a, a, a byte and so forth um, this is a sort of just a, a, a an accumulative value so for instance if you look at we the next value is kilowe which is a thousand we then megawe which is a million we gigawe which is a billion and then you've got sort of all the concepts such as microether which is i think if i'm correct a millionth of an ether which is a quadrillion and then you have your milliether which is a thousandth of an ether and then you obviously have your ether which is a quintillion of a we. Again, this is quite a, 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 a not. I'm not going to say a complicated subject, but it's a. It's very much a mouthful. Now, it doesn't actually stop there. Just because the denominations uh, are defined here from a we to an ether, doesn't mean it doesn't go further. Because, if, for instance, if you take the uh, the Web three. Um, library that the ethereum uh, well basically the ethereum organization has developed you can see it actually takes it a, a step further now obviously there are some other aliases to these um such as you've got finny um micro and nano and and so forth like for instance uh, a gwe or gigwe can also be re referred to as a shannon or a nano ether so you might hear these in other contexts so i'll leave a link to uh, obviously the previous denomination page as well as this page in the tutorial in the video description down below um but going back to what i was saying about the denominations you know going further than ether as you can see here you have ether k ether which is obviously going to be killer ether g uh, or grant and then after that you think you see like grand and einstein which it also references to kill ether then you have m ether which is obviously going to be mega ether then you have g ether giga ether and then t ether which is if i'm going to write it's terra ether if you're getting into the realms of terra ether you're probably quite a rich person at this point um but that is is the full spectrum 
of all the denominations of Wii. So obviously you've got your Wii, which is the smallest denomination, your Ether, which is your more standardized or commonly referred to uh, denomination on the network, which is your quintillionth of a Wii, and then everything else surrounding it. Now I hope this answered a lot of people's questions in regards to what is a Wii and what is Ether and so forth. Um, I'll be using um, sort of this as a reference point when I go through what is gas uh, in my next tutorial. So I hope this has been somewhat insightful. Now I'm going to leave it there because like I said, today's, uh, today's video is going to be quite short and I'll see you next time.